I became a dentist because I liked working with my hands and I always enjoyed making things. And um, once I started um, doing my periodontal practice, I realized that um, I needed to have some way of relaxing. I mean, I found the uh, occupation extremely stressful. And um, art was always a possibility because it was respectable. You know, it was something that a, a, an adult could do. A very wise old artist said to me, don't make the choice between dentistry and pottery. He says, do both. For seven years, every Wednesday, I would get on the train, go to New York in the morning, and listen, you know, go to class, and then in the afternoon, I would just go to galleries, go to museums, spend the day by myself. It was the most wonderful day of the week. Um, and feeling and dressing and making believe I was an artist, because in New York, you can do anything. No one knew me. No, it was very freeing. And... Um, and then I came back and I decided that I would build a studio. So I built a beautiful studio on the side of my house. And I would become, you know, quote, a real artist and do my thing. And that's how it evolved. Dentistry is, as you, when you learn how to be a dentist, you learn how to construct the bridges and the dentures. And you become a, you become a true technician. And you have to learn how to do things specifically with um, materials. And it, as it turns out, the materials that you use to make a crown, let's say, a gold crown, is exactly the same process as how to do a bronze sculpture. I mean, I knew in high school that I would be a dentist because I liked my dentist the, uh, when I was a kid. And he had a nice lifestyle and he had a nice home. and. He played golf and he had a pretty wife and I said, you know, I can, this, is, this is what I want. So that's why I became a dentist. And then when I went to take courses with Chaim Gross, Chaim Gross was 85 years old and was teaching. And I said, this is what I want to do when I'm 85. You know, so now I had this direction of maybe not being a famous artist, but being a good enough artist where maybe one day I could share, you know, and do something when I'm 85.